What we have here is a hydroponic system. It goes through the system and it floods the roots and as it floods the roots it gives it the nutrients. And I will show you a plant and a root system. You can see your roots right here. They look good. That's just one. As I back up, you can see I have quite a few. Now what I typically do is I'll harvest the outer leaves and I just let the rest grow. That's winter time right now and it thrives in the winter. So I'll have a pretty good growing season. The pipe, you can see the elevation of the pipe rises up. And as it rises at the top, we have where the water pumps up to the top and goes into it right over here water goes in from this direction then it comes down and it goes both directions right here it flows down here all the way down here comes through here and it flows over here in case I have to make adjustments I have this shut off right here. Sometimes you want to regulate the flow, but for the most part, I don't need to. Now this is my reservoir. I have it buried into the ground. Winter time is not as much of a problem as summer. You don't want the summer water to get too hot. It starts getting 80 degrees and above. It causes root rot. So you have to, uh, by burying it, it helps regulate the water temperature. And there's a nutrient solution in there that helps provide nutrients to all the plants. I typically collect rainwater, which is the best water to use. But you can see it comes up here and I have more pipe on this side. And that's where it goes on that side here. And we have more plants. And once again, we have roots. It's pretty good. So, this is a flow system. It's operating on a timer. And it's one of the simplest ways to do um, hydroponics. Um, it's a great resource. And uh, I would suggest trying it. And this is just a video to show how it's done. I use scrap material to do it. Um, you can get plumbing fittings and design a system yourself, but this is just one example how to do it.